Just checking out this new lens. It's the Canon EFM 11 to 22 mil IS STM. So far, I'm loving it. Hopefully, you're getting a really nice wide field of view all around. There's the wave. <coughs> what, do you th what do you think of it, guys? Let me know in the uh, comments below. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the vlog. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my new camera lens. It's the Canon EFM 11-22mm wide angle lens. Now this lens is specifically for the Canon EOS M range of Canons. I'm currently filming this on the Canon M6. So the reason I bought this lens is because I wanted something that just gave me a bit more of a wider uh, angle so I could capture more of a background surroundings particularly when you're vlogging. The the problem I was finding is that I just felt that the the lens and I'm currently filming on a 22mm prime lens it just crops it in too much. So normally I'd be vlogging on this little bad boy which is the 15 to 45mm EFM lens. It's uh, It's got IS so image stabilization and it's STM. It has an aperture range of 3.5 to 6.3. It's a pretty little good lens. It's the kit lens that comes with the camera. My only negative real comment about this is it's a bit plasticky. As you can see here the lens mount is completely plastic and recently I actually dropped the lens and it's and it's, it's a little bit cracked just in there. I don't know if you can see that. And because of that, it's got a little bit sticky when I'm just trying to zoom in and out. This has been my daily vlogging lens um, for the last sort of five or six months. However, uh, I, I'm still gonna use it. It's still, it's still gonna sit in my kit bag. But this guy, the 11 to 22 mil, this is what I'm currently gonna be vlogging on going forwards. In terms of aperture, this is, it's an F4 to 5.6. It has a 55mm ring, so I usually have an ND filter on it, particularly when it's really bright light. Metal mount, that's a win. And it just, it just feels so smooth to zoom in and out. Buttery, buttery smooth. I'm currently filming this on my EFM 22mm, which is a F aperture of two. It's also STM, but it doesn't have image stabilization. So this lens that I'm currently filming on is great for B-roll and sitting on a tripod and, and filming these kind of shots. But for daily vlogging, it's it's just rubbish. Um, but the image stabilization, the footage gets all jerky and it's just not ideal. This thing does come with image stabilization. It's also an STM lens. In fact, all the EFM lenses are STM. So you get that really super silent, um, constant, focusing uh, on, on the subject and obviously with the Canon M6 and the M50 and some of the more recent cameras in the M series, um, they have the amazing um, dual logic pixel whatever thing that basically tracks onto your face and locks the, uh, the focus. Winning. Okay, so I bet you're dying to see exactly what this lens can do. So um, Let's get rid of the, this 22mm lens and I'm going to put on the 15 to 45 initially and then I'm going to compare the 15 to 45 to the 11 and 22. Okay, so here's the 15 to 45. 3, 2, 1. And there we go. So this is currently at 15mm and you can see it's already got quite wide and this is why I've been using this lens as my kind of daily vlogging lens up until now. It, it, it's good, it's nice, it's bright. Um, and you can zoom it in to pretty much 45, which is there. So, hello, but that's, that's not great for right now. I just love that autofocus. So now let's get the 11 to 22 mil on. And there we go, don't need this one anymore. So this is how wide it goes at 11mm, just look at that extra space. I'm like, 
I'm like tiny compared to everything that you can see around me. So as you can see, it's just a lot wider. You get a lot more detail captured within the shot. Um, hopefully you'll agree as well. It's definitely like a crisper lens and, and there's a lot of other reviews that say that the glass is better than the standard kit lens. I don't know if there's anything to do with just the general build quality, but it just feels like a much sturdier product than the, uh, the, the 14 to, uh, 15 to 45. You know, I'm going to be doing a what's in my travel bag, but in terms of my kind of my regular use lenses, it's obviously this, the 11 to 22. I've got this, which is the 22 mil prime lens. I'm still going to keep this one, the 15 to 45, but um, it's really just more of a backup lens. And finally, I've got the 50 mil SDM EF lens. Now, for any photographer who knows what he's talking about, this is the Nifty 50. It's one of the best lenses that you can possibly get, particularly within a certain budget range. I mean, it, it's it's so cheap. And this comes with the uh, EFM adapter so I can attach EF lenses to this camera or any of the M range cameras. So it does bulk it out a little bit in terms of uh, form factor. It, again, it doesn't have image stabilization, but it does have the SDM motor, so it's super quiet, really nice, real silky smooth zoom and auto, uh, not zoom, it's a prime, autofocus. This lens is pretty much reserved for kind of B-roll kind of footage. Um, just when I'm wanting to get something where I want a really soft background, really like blur it out, um, this can do it because it goes down to f1.8. So I've got f1.8 at 50 mil, f2 at 22 mil, f4 to 5.6 at 11 to 22 mil, and f3.5 to 6.3 at 15 to 45 mil. The only other lens that I would consider, um, and I haven't got yet, would be some sort of telephoto lens. Um, I'm still kind of exploring with this setup. I tend to not do much um, photography with telephoto lenses, but I think it might be good at some point in the future to maybe have something that kind of gives me that, that extra um, extra range when, when I'm sort of out and about. I want to get more sort of B-roll, but I'm not quite in, close enough to the subject. So hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you're getting into vlogging or photography or even videography, I would highly recommend the Canon M6 uh, with the 11 to 22 mil lens. It's just a great all round uh, camera and perfect if you're starting out. Um, they're really easy to use and you get really good quality. Hopefully you'll agree. If you have any comments or you'd like to see something specific um, with this camera and this lens combination, please uh, leave a comment in the description box below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, I produce videos, um, sometimes tech reviews, sometimes just stories about my life. Um, stuff, just stuff, manly stuff. I'm, I'm a guy, I, I, I do stuff. Um, and don't forget to hit that little bell button. You get notifications when I've uploaded a video. Thank you very much guys and see you on the next one.